this is Starpoint Gemini 3. I have played Starpoint Gemini Warlords previously on the channel and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I absolutely love this developer. They are extremely passionate about their games and Starpoint Gemini 3 has just released into early access on Steam. If you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. This video is not sponsored in any way. I'm just playing it for the love of the game and for the dedication that the developers have shown over the years to their Starpoint Gemini series. And we are going to be creating a new game. This is a bit of a different affair to previous titles in the Starpoint Gemini series, where they're going for more of a story-focused story campaign with a lot of rather intriguing plot points and a lot of very funny dialogue along the way. You play as Captain Jonathan Bold and you have an AI by the name of Ada who is going to be your companion for your adventures. And there's also crafting. You can craft various parts for your ship and then as a result, basically the ship that you start with is not going to be the ship that you will be playing with throughout the entirety of the game because these parts that you craft will have actual cosmetic impacts on what you're currently flying. So that's really cool in my opinion. Anyway, let's, uh, let's start a new game. As you see here, enter the cockpit of Captain Jonathan Bold and get ready for a space adventure as you complete the story campaign. Fasten your seatbelt, your journey is about to begin. You can also do free roam as well, but I'm going to be playing the campaign, at least for this video. Captain Bold? Yes, I am. What is it, ship? I have a name, sir. And moods, apparently. Okay, all right. What is it, Ada? Mm, yes. Thank you, Captain Bold. Now, I have some doubts regarding our location. Oh? What kind of doubts? The worst kind, Captain. The Sea of Sorrow is an uncharted area full of pirates and other assorted scum and villainy. Precisely who we're looking for, and precisely who we want to join. We do, sir? Did we vote on that? Don't be silly, Ada. As if you'd ever vote against your captain. Oh, as if, captain. All right, so we now have control of our ship here. Now, they have done some pretty considerable changes to how you are able to dogfight in the game. And I personally really like these changes. I like the changes to the guns as well. So they've made it so that your your uh, you, you do have two different weapons, as far as I'm aware. So I'm 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 actually just going to show you very very quickly what's currently going on here. You can see that we have some Lancer missiles. We currently are unable to see my blaster weapons at the moment, which is a bit unfortunate. But I, I suppose later down the line, I will be able to show you the various kinds. And then you obviously have equipment, components, products, materials, and valuables, and all of these will have different uh, different effects and things like that. Otherwise, we do have skills, because you can level up in this game. You can level up, you can gain experience, and you can spec into various abilities here. So you can see that we have blasters, machine guns, scatter guns, cannons, missiles, maneuverability, shields, and indeed systems. And all of these have different passive benefits and they also have different active abilities as well. I don't know whether you can notice here, but for example, the weak point ability, gain a massive short-term boost to your critical hit chance after depleting the enemy's shields with blasters. I personally feel like that's a really, really cool ability. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna level up my blaster skill because I personally feel like that is definitely something I would wanna do because that's what we're currently using and we're going to see how we do. So, yeah, anyway, as I was saying, they have done some improving to the dogfighting, and it is much easier to control your ship. Let me just say that. Much, much easier, because it used to be a little bit difficult to get used to in Starpoint Gemini Warlords, at least, but in this, it is just as easy as walking, really. It is just as easy as doing that. And uh, basically, you have Q and E, 
to do a barrel roll. Yes, to do a barrel roll. You can do that. Let's not do that too much, otherwise we're going to be sick. So, yes, otherwise you can do a barrel roll. You can strafe from left to right. You can also cut your engines if you so desire. So, for example, if you're boosting up ahead right here and then you cut your engines right like that, then you zoom around and then you start your engines again. You, 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 can, you, you can turn 180 degrees or any, any degree that you like. And then you can boost again and start your engines immediately. And you can let the inertia carry you, which I think is a really cool thing indeed. And otherwise you have cruise control. You do have a cruise ability which will allow you to traverse space extremely fast. And we're going to use a little bit of that to get to the nearby waypoint and see what awaits us. We're being hailed, Captain. We've been noticed. Of course, Ada. I arranged this rendezvous. When, sir? Why? And with whom? With the most delicious buccaneer you ever laid your eyes on. But I don't have eyes, sir. I have sensors. Ravenna Black. Ravenna Black, sir? The daughter of Corvus Black? The blackest, sir? Yes. The most charming. And bloodthirsty. And beautiful. Pirate alive? <laughs> that she is. Hello, Ravenna, my dear. It is I, Bold. Jonathan, I have doubted you'd show up. What? Why is everybody doubting me today? Where did you meet her, sir? And why are we here? <laughs> Three nights ago in a tavern on Lunai. She recognized my qualities right away and asked me to meet her here. Where are you, my love? Cloaked, my love. You can never be too careful in my line. Did you come alone? As if I would share you with anyone, my orchid of the vacuum. Oh, Jonathan. Uh, you're more of an airhead than I've been told. You can say that again. Wait. Could you say that again? Ships, Captain Bold. Three ships, Captain. Three pirated ships armed to the teeth. Be consistent, Ada. If you don't have eyes, they can't have teeth. Ravenna, what's the meaning of this, my love? Money, my love. I'm sorry to say, but as much as I love you, oh, I love money more. But I don't have any money. Huh, that's true. Jonathan, love. You are made of money. I am? He is. There is a bounty out for you. More money than I ever dreamed about. Somebody wants you, and somebody wants you bad. Somebody wants me bad? Ooh, did you hear that, Ada? Uh, Miss Ravenna, did you say somebody wants him bad or dead? A lie, unfortunately. <laughs> That's why I haven't iced him in that tavern. Now, Jonathan, love, will you make it easy for me and surrender? Surrender, Jonathan! They have us outgunned! Think of me! Well, it depends. Depends on what? Who is it that wants me? Some girl, Rosa Stomatina. I think she wants to marry you. Rosa St- Oh, screw that! No deal! Captain! She's filthy rich, Jonathan. It can't be that bad marrying someone that rich. She only wants me for my name. No deal, Ravenna. We fight. Be reasonable, Jonathan. We fight. All right, so into our first battle. And uh, yeah, basically what we can do now is we can change the camera angle as well, if we so desire. So you can even go into the cockpit itself. This is one of the first times that you could do this in the Starpoint Gemini series, and I very much like it. I mean, look at this. Oh, yes. You can just you can go wherever, wherever you like. It's really cool. And you even have a readout on your little monitor here. You can see your shields. You can see your hull integrity. You can see your boost. And, of course, you can also see your ammunition. So, yeah, there's also this, this mode as well. So if you want to 
take amazing screenshots, then you can very easily do that. There's also a photo mode as well, by the way. So even if you, you know, if you don't want the UI to be displayed, then you can very easily change it up and go for the photo mode by pressing F8. That is very easy to get up. And uh, there we go. Both ships have been destroyed. I don't know whether there's going to be another one. Yes, there is. Hello there. Oh, yes. Okay, so shields are below 50. Oh, we're having some problems. Oh, we are heavily outmatched, sir. May I suggest we run and hide? Come on, we can take them. We cannot, sir. It's only a matter of time before we explode. Ah, fine. Make this easy and surrender. Oh, it seems like we are going to fight, actually. Okay, let's do this. Bear in mind that this is, of course, in early access, and as a result, nothing you see here is representative of the final product, and uh, everything is going to be worked on in the course of early access. Woohoo! That was a great fight. Wasn't that a great fight, ship? Ada. Whatever. Okay, wasn't that a great fight, Ada? Please define great, Captain Bold. We lost half of everything. Half the shields, half the engines, and half of the supplies. But none of our spirit. Yeah, like that's worth anything. Come on, Ada. We're alive. Shouldn't that count for something? Technically, Captain, only you are alive. I'm an autonomous command module overlaid by a supposedly amusing personality. You are a sweetheart, Ada. If you were a person, I'd marry you. And yet you just literally fought to avoid a marriage. Ah, well, that's a long story. Yeah, but with only half the engines, we have twice the time. It's not a very interesting story. Well, it must be more interesting than this introduction. You really want to know? Yeah, if pirates are going to chase us because of it. Yeah, I guess you're right. Y you know who Thomas Scott is? The Thomas Scott? The late Thomas Scott? Big kahuna of Nexus Scientificum? Only the most important person in the whole Gemini system? The very same. Well, I'm his grandchild. Ah. One of his grandchildren, really. There was 16 of us last week. An ominous use of the past tense there. Yeah. Grandfather's death kind of tossed Nexus into a heritage war. Factions within factions within factions. Each one trying to secure someone from Scott's bloodline is proof of its legitimacy. And eliminating those that cannot be secured? Yep. Nine of my cousins killed. I even liked some of them. The rest are more or less prisoners of the warlords. Hmm. And you? I decided to bolt. Politics are not my game. I borrowed a ship. <laughs> Me? You were the best looking one. Yeah, before I halved in size. And the girl? Ravenna? No, the other one. Rosa? Oh. Rosa's the head of Nexus's hard science division. An important faction who has no Scott of its own. So she decided to marry you? So she decided to marry me. Why? I might have wooed her a little once, when I was drunk. Ah. Uh. Eh. Ah. Uh. Okay, back to the task, Captain Bold. What's the plan? I could use a drink. Yeah, me too. We're running on fumes. Any place close where we could, uh, refuel? What do the maps say? We lost them, sir. The relevant half, at least. I have the proximity scanner running. It will let us know when it finds something. It'll beep? It'll beep. It beeped. It did indeed. A human-made structure within range, Captain. Can you get us there? With my eyes closed, Captain. The eyes you don't have? Well, those are very easy to close, sir. All right, so we now have control once again, and we can lock on to the waypoint and then enter cruise. Oh yes. There we go. And uh, distance is closed very quickly in cruise mode. 
Wait, what's that? That's Sakara Station, Captain Bold. Fuel, a dry dock, everything one could wish for. Well, that's great, isn't it? Well, Multiops owns it, which means they'll charge you a heart and soul for even being there. Won't they settle for some spirit? They're probably not going to settle for some spirit, let's face it. Anyway, let's move on. Let's cruise over to the dock and we will get into the space station. Now, of course, every single one of the, as far as I'm aware, every single one of these asteroids is going to be, well, you can crash into every single one of these asteroids, as far as I'm aware. I have had that happen before. Thankfully, I didn't take any damage from it because I think it was a bit too small. But anyway, let's dock. have an idea, Captain. I'm all ears. We'll moor into the dry dock. I'll download myself into the drone, sneak into the best ship I can find, and overtake its controls. We're going to steal a ship? No. I am going to steal a ship. You go and get yourself a drink while you wait for my call. Oh, and Captain? Yes? Please, don't woo anyone if you get drunk. All right, so this is kind of like an introduction to the drone stealth section kind of thing. I'm not entirely sure whether it will have stealth elements later on in the game, but from what I have seen so far, basically it is you controlling Ada's drone, or technically Ada herself because she's in the drone. But yeah, anyway, we are going to be walking around here. You can see that there's that eye on the screen, and I believe that eye on the screen indicates our visibility to a potential guard in the area and as a result we're going to need to be a little bit cautious about moving on here i don't know what the bottom right bar is i think that might be a battery limit or something like that so maybe in the future there may be like an energy cost to running the drone and as a result you may indeed have a time limit as to when you uh, run around. That, that is, of course, just speculation on my part. That is nothing that is actually implemented in the game so far. I'm just tossing around ideas because I'm, I'm not entirely sure what it's for. I think that the bottom left is, of course, the health of the drone. But uh, yeah, otherwise, I'm not entirely sure what the other one does. So we are hopefully going to be done. What I would also like to see, maybe going forward in early access, if I'm going to make a suggestion about this particular section of the game, is I would like to... Oh, look, there's a guard right there. So yeah, you can be a little bit sneaky, try and get out of the way. But yeah, what I would like to say is maybe make... Maybe have the drones be a little bit quicker, or maybe have them have a bit of a boost option so that you can boost past things faster. How's the hunting going, my dear AI companion? Meet me at the exit ramp. ASAP or sooner. Hmm. That sounds promising. Go! to hand it to you. This is a very nice ship. We'll admire it later. We have to go. Hmm. I believe I forgot to pay for my drink. And I believe that's the least of our problems. Yeehaw! Oh, Ada. Yeah? You sound uncharacteristically exuberant. I can't help it, Captain Bold, sir. This is a dream ship. The ship I was always meant to be. Well, I'm happy for you, Ada, but can you please stop the barrel roll? Please? Uh, thank you. Any sickness you might have felt was strictly psychosomatic, Captain. The intravehicular gravity pool was unchanged. Which can't be said for my intratestinal gravity. <laughs> oh, oh. Are we safe, Ada? Safe? Safe from what, Captain? Um, from the guys this ship belonged to? 
from Multiops Corporation? Well, I masked the ship's ID signature, but... safe? <laughs> you must be kidding, Captain. Must I, Ada? How much do you know about Multiops, sir? Well, I've seen them around. They sell things, buy things, produce things. <laughs> things. And, um, other things? You've led a pretty sheltered life, haven't you, sir? I guess I have. If trade is the glue of every society, then multi-ops is the super glue of human society. You can find them wherever there's a buck to be made. And if there is no buck to be made, they're thinking of the way to make it. Okay. In other words, they're everywhere, Captain Bolt, sir. You can never be entirely safe from them. Ah, I see. Um, Ada? Yes, sir. Why did you steal one of their ships then? Why not a ship of some meager and consequential coward? Because it was so beautiful, sir. So elegant, so swift, so powerful. Right. Okay, great. We'll get ourselves killed in the most elegant ship you could find. Is that what you're telling me? Maybe we won't get killed right away, sir. I feel better already. I'll hit you so hard you won't need a tea gate. Alright, so we now can switch weapons if we so desire because we have this new ship and if we like the slow to start firing then to then, then fast firing weapon like I'm using right here, then you can continue to use that. But there is an alternative. You can switch again by pressing F and then you will be able to use the other blasters which are just fast firing, just in general. They're, they're very, very quick indeed to fire. As you can see, oh, no, look at that. That is just crazy. A lot of damage right there. Great, just what I needed. This sucks. Well, isn't this what you wanted, sir? A life of an outlaw? A life of an outlaw, yes. Not necessarily the death of an outlaw. They often come as a set, sir. You know that supposedly amusing personality of yours, Ada? Sir? Less amusing by the minute, Ada. Right you are, Captain Bold. Would you like to hear an idea, sir? An idea how to make more enemies, I presume? Sorry to disappoint, sir, but no. There might be a way out. A temporary one, at least. Yes? The Gemini system is too hot for us, right? Here we have to avoid Nexus Scientificum and all of its factions, the bounty hunting pirates, and now the multi-ops. I made all those enemies in, what, three days? You're simply amazing, Captain. Thank you, Ada. The Gemini is out. The solar system's no better. It's lousy with multi-ops there. The only possible safe haven is. Don't say serious system. The serious system. Oh, you never listen, do you? What's wrong with Sirius, sir? There are aliens there. Those weird, long-faced ones. The Dogons? Are you specious, sir? I'm not specious. They just look weird. Don't worry, sir. Everybody's a little bit specious. The important thing is that there is no Nexus, and almost no multi-ops there. However... I just knew there was gonna be a however. However, the only way there is through the star point, which is Nexus owned. So are we cooked? Not necessarily, sir. We are in a multi op ship. Chances are, multi ops hasn't communicated a theft this small to Nexus yet. So we're not cooked? Not necessarily, sir. We still have to pay for the transit. So we are cooked after all? Not necessarily, sir. There is a cloud of hypercharged cargon up ahead. That should do nicely as a payment. Ada. Sir? How about you do that cargon thing? And I go puke. Each according to his ability, eh, sir? Don't be cheeky, Ada. All right, so now we have the opportunity to go and harvest some cargon from the nearby little area of space here. And I would assume, later down the line, when uh, we are roaming around in free roam, that we're gonna be able to do this more and more often and actually sell the, well, resource, whatever it may be, 
that we gather as a result. So let's uh, let's extract the gas pocket from this area. There we have it. Nice. And now we can go over to the uh, Gemini Gate. And, uh, well, yes, you can also see, as I've already shown you, we can go into the inventory here. And, th and this is where you get to see the two different weapons that I can potentially use. So one is a Shredder, which does slightly more damage to hull, and the other one it does slightly more damage to shields. They both have the same rate of fire and uh, wonderful things like that. You can also have different missiles as well. You have a dumb fire missile as well as a guided missile. And then you obviously have equipment, components, products, and these other materials here. So you can see that Cargon has an average price of 40 credits, which is not that great. So yeah, it's nothing really to worry about there, but maybe, maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to gain some much more expensive resources in the future. I gotta say, I really love the cruise control mode. I feel like the cruise control mode is really fun. Had a good cleansing, Captain. In my personal top five. Are we anywhere, Ada? Starpoint Gemini is in view, sir. I'll unmask the ID signature for the moment, and you should hail the gatekeeper. Right. Starpoint Gemini, Starpoint Gemini. This is Captain Quilt of MO47 DKW speaking. Please respond, Starpoint Gemini. Captain Quilt? Shut up. That was my nickname on dating apps back in the day. Dating apps? Shut up. Yes, MO47 DKW. Go ahead. Requesting the rite of passage. <sighs> there are ships ahead of you. It might take a while. Where do you want to go? Solar? No, serious. Serious? Seriously? Not many multi-ops traffic in that direction. What's the occasion? Um... A delivery? Um, a delivery. Yeah. Delivery? In a gunship? What are you delivering? Toothpicks? <laughs> a team of basketball playing fleas? Um, no. The Towers of Cabona. The Towers? You mean the show? Yeah, the commander of the Magellan Refinery is a huge fan. We're bringing him the entire new season. <sighs> Wouldn't it be easier to stream it? You'd think so, right? But no, when it comes to inter-system travel, it's apparently more cost-efficient to piggyback it than to stream. That's weird. Okay, MO47DKW. You are eighth in the outgoing lane. Prepare the payment. Starpoint Gemini out. My, my, Captain Bold. You are quite an accomplished liar. What can I say? All those years on those dating apps. Captain Quilt speaking, MO47 DKW. Captain Quilt? I knew an idiot with such a nickname once. <gasps> Ravenna? What are you doing here? Following the trail of calamity to my bounty, of course. Will you surrender peacefully this time, my love? Uh, I can't. I... Oh, don't be silly, Jonathan. Keep yourself up. Get married. Bring the war for Nexus to an end. <laughs> Make me rich. Ada, how swift is this ship? As swift as it's elegant. What do you have in mind? We go through the star point now. No waiting, no paying, no nothing. Can we do it? There's a 50-50 chance we won't end in serious, Captain. Can we do it? You pilot. I'll fire. Ravenna. Yes, my love. Here's your answer. Hey, you can't do that. All right, so here we go. We're going to have to fly through these rings and try to well, try to make it over there in boost speed. I'm a bit worried about this because I am not the best flyer in these space games. Ah, oh, there we go. We made it. Whoa! I didn't think I could do that. It's not over yet. What? Why? We're in, aren't we? But not out. Yes, yes! Who's the greatest pilot of them all? 
10 speed bow is universally acknowledged as the most accomplished pilot of the last 200 years. I mean of the living ones. Glenn Curacao? I meant in this ship. Hmm, let me think. Ah, you won't spoil my mood. I just jumped systems, saved my bacon from the Pirate Queen, and now? And now? Yes? Well, now I can do whatever I want. Sounds great. What are you going to do? Um, something? Fascinating, Captain Bold. And when do you plan on doing something? You are such a pain in my propulsion, Ada. Tomorrow, next week, in a month. What does it matter? Well, it matters slightly, Captain. Our fuel is rather low. We were full five minutes ago. Hot wheeling through a star point does come at a price. <sighs> wait, wait. What about the cargon we collected recently? Unrefined cargon, Captain. Well, let's refine it then. The Magellan refinery is here somewhere, isn't it? We shall take a stolen multi-ops vessel to a multi-ops refinery and show them a load of cargon illegally collected on the other side of Star Point. The passage through which we haven't paid for? <laughs> that is a bold plan, Captain Bold. Yeah, well, do you have a better one? Or would you like to call Glenn Curacao, perhaps? Oh, please, Captain. I just wanted to point out that you're an outlaw now, so not every option is open to you anymore. Okay, fine. Who needs options? We'll be outlaws and we'll do outlaw things, which are... um... Scavenging, stealing, smuggling, illegal mining... Uh, that sounds suspiciously like work. Any chance for, I don't know, some light piracy? Piracy is for the big boys, Captain. <sighs> and girls. And Ravenna Black, yes. <sighs> All right, Ada. Find us something to scavenge then, will ya? All right, so we are through the start point and now we're going to need to go and scavenge something. But is it going to be exactly what we want? Who knows? Uh, I know that uh, in the future, we're probably going to have some rather interesting encounters. Ah, yes. Like, for example, with these guys. Yes. Hello there. We will do some damage to you, if at all possible. There we go. And I have leveled up as well. Very nice. Yeah, I'm going to use some rockets. There we go. Nice. All of the shields gone on that one. Very, very good. That was a massive direct hit. Unfortunately, I'm not very good at leading my target. Can you tell? Oh, yes. Can you tell? Oh, okay, well, anyway, let's just use some more. Use some more rockets to keep their shields down. And then we'll finish them off with a barrage of blaster fire. All right, so this is where we need to deploy Ada once again into the shipwreck itself, and this is where we are going to be piloting the drone. Now, of course, you can see here, this is completely derelict. The gravity is gone. There are bodies everywhere, as you can see right there. There's actually a couple of bodies over in that direction, and I'm hopeful that I will be able to go and hack some of these terminals. Now, this is kind of I mean, it's not really a puzzle, but it's kind of like a puzzle, really, because what you need to do is you need to hack this initial terminal to open a force field door on the other side of the room and then go through that door and then hack another terminal, which will open this door on this side and so on and so forth. So you can you can basically just make your way through the ship that way. And you can quite clearly see that there are corpses through this particular force field here. So thankfully we're not going that way, but we are going to be having to go around the other side again and use another terminal. And now we have unlocked the final force field door and we will be able to go to the basement. And that is, of course, going to be the place where we will find what we need to extract, which in this case is a bunch of data that will allow us to download some maps, some star charts and things like that so we can actually see where we are and where we need to go for a potential shady job. Now we have to power up the generator in this section and then we should be able to retrieve the information that we require through this terminal right here. As I say, I personally feel like this is a really, really nice change from flying around your vessel 
and navigation data has been collected. And I, I would really like to see some additional elements of this particular section of the game because apart from hacking and apart from sneaking around and things like that and seeing a completely different perspective of the game, I'd love to see maybe a threat of some kind on the vessel, maybe like a, I don't know, android or something that is uh, wanting to kill us or something and we have to be a bit sneaky as a result. But I would definitely like to see some kind of boost because I don't know whether you can notice, but this is a pretty slow drone. So it would be kind of nice if it had a little bit of a boost here and there. I'm trying the same key as what it is to boost in the ship, but it is not currently possible. Makes you think, doesn't it, Ada? Think? Are you feeling well, Captain? All oh, those wrecks, I mean. Space travel is not all fun and games, is it? Did you think it was? Well, no. I, I mean, I knew space was kind of dangerous, even in peacetime, but... Have you seen the bodies floating around that last one? I have. Oh, did you want me to collect them, Captain? Those were just pirates. Not much resale value, I'm afraid. That was cold, Ada. Cold as space, Captain. Any orders? Um, yeah, uh... We should try and sell what we've got, Captain. We should. You're right. Pirates Harbor is our best bet then, Captain. Uh, my thoughts exactly, Ada. Are you still thinking about the dead people, Captain? Don't you ever think about dead drones, Ada? It brings a tear to my eye every time I blast one, Captain. You don't have eyes, Ada. Right you are, Captain. Shall I plot the course to harbor then? Plot away. All right, and uh, I think that is probably a good place for me to end this episode off here. And if you would like to check out Starpoint Gemini 3, there is a link in the description. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.